Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. So today we're going to finish off the final, and well, I hope it is the final, and there's not any more secret quests, um, final quest in the Eve Spires in uh, Evendim on the Western Banks. Are you prepared to leave my little friend? I couldn't even make out half of what you said there. Long Bow the Ent has been roused to anger. The wood trolls of the Evespire are acting in league with the Black Warn, which was once under the Ent's guidance, and Longbow is determined to put an end to their mischief. So today we're going to come put the wood trolls in their place. There is an evil here that does not belong. So we're going to follow him. And then find the source of this evil and take it out. So since he is a uh, an escort NPC, we're going to see his vitals down in the bottom here, so we need to make sure he doesn't die. And uh, we can see roughly at a glance how much morale he's got by the Archon underneath him. So green is good, yellow's on about half, red means danger he's about to die, which is bad. Um, but it's it's quiet, it's too quiet. Uh, there's a big angry tree here, the Twisted Heart, which is actually the name of the instance. We're under attack. Are they coming from? Something's, something's coming. Why am I in combat? There they are. Here we go. Transform to bear. Let's get the AOE down. Okay, so the end has a healing skill and he will cast heals on me if I'm in trouble anyway, so uh, the fact that there are quite a lot of trolls should not make too much difference. There we go, we spanked him. Vroom! The twisted heart lies dormant, its roots sunk deep into the earth. We must find them and cut off its sustenance. So he's going that way, but I'm pretty sure we want to take the other cave. But where are you going, sir? Or do we have to take the long way round to get to the bottom of the tunnel? I think that's the plan. Just so we can fight even more wood trolls. Why not? Hopefully, I think there is a slayer deed of these, so... I'm at least getting something out of this. Let's go for some more AoE. Oh, summoned roots getting caught in the AoE as well. Ah, oh, that... There we go. Now the Ents can give me a massive heal, there he goes. It saves me doing it myself. So I'll just come down here, we'll catch up sooner or later. Come on, be hasty. Here we go, there's more coming, so... Let's get a ferocious roar ticking away. A nice chunk of AoE. Oh crap. He nearly interrupted my AoE with an rack. There we go. Oh, he's interrupting me again. Damn you guys! Bear form. But let's just spam Frash, kill them one by one. Thankfully, Longbow is uh, hanging in there quite well. It's only lost 2k out of 23k so far. Right, there we go. Wow, we nearly broke the 3k barrier there. 2,935 damage with a devastating critical. That is pretty sweet, considering I'm only level 38. Um, and that would have more than one-shotted myself at this point as well. It's pretty crazy. Right, so now Longbow's decided to bring us the long way round. So this is where we were attacking uh, Heart Rot earlier. That's the other cave entrance at the south side of the lake. Um, 
There we go, he's making more friends. I've used the stuns on him though, so hopefully they won't stun me at all. Let's go for some AoE. Nice. So down the bottom here, there should be some roots that we can attack. There we go. Or that are going to attack me. That also works. Um, coming down here early might not have been the smartest of ideas. Worst case, he should heal me. Uh, they are threatening to attack, but they're not actually... Oh, they are attacking now. I think. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's, let's come up here. Longbow says, now prepare yourselves, little ones, for we're about to get to the root of the matter. Ha ha ha, pun intended. Uh, once we begin, the Twisted Heart and its guardians will be fully aroused. Oh, really? And we should be in great peril. Why does that ant have a nice tight firm ass? Oh crap! That hurts. Heal me, you useless tree. Oh crap! That ain't good. Oh god! I don't think they can hit me now. Ha ha ha! You can't see me. So go attack the tree instead. Please. There we go. I've got another heal myself. Let's go man up and get in there. There we go, right. Job done. The roots are cut. I will remain here to ensure the Twisted Heart remains cut off from the source of his sustenance. Destroy the tree swiftly. Up we go. So in the old days when this was a, a oh crap, hello. Heart rot's back. And I'm on half health, which ain't good. So in the old days then, when this is a, uh, a six man group instance. Um, obviously Epping had a lot more morale back in those days. Before it's turned into solo quests, but um, hello. This creature appears to regenerate faster than you can harm it. That ain't good. Long bow. You tank him for me, please. Or we could both get stunned. Oh, don't attack him, because otherwise it's just going to make a, a mess. Take aggro, come on. I don't want to heal. I want you to take this unkillable mob off of me so I can go attack the tree without really caring. There we go, right. Now, leave him to his uh, little fight down there. That does mean that if um, if we can't kill him, Longbow can't kill him, so Longbow will slowly take a bit of damage, but he should be fine. I think this tree up here only had about 4k health, so we should be able to just nuke it in bear form. Since I'm stuck in combat and my wrath stays built. So, bear form, die tree. Oh, he's going out of combat, that's not fair. Now what? Do I need to go back downstairs, check on Longbow? Probably. Let's see what's going on down here. So the roots have respawned, so we're going to have to do this a couple of times then. So fall down here. Heartrot's still got his uh, buff of invincibility, so can't actually take him out. Right. 
so we're going to head back upstairs. With my broken legs hobbling around, there we go. Sadly, I can't mount up to save myself a bit of time running around. Hopefully this should probably only require cutting the roots once more, maybe. It's about a third health, I guess. Yeah, one more should do it. So, back downstairs. He's still got his buff on him. Longbow's down to 18.9k, so he's only lost about 4k, so he will eventually die, but it's slow enough that we don't need to really worry too much about him. Unless you're really bad. And this takes like 20 minutes or whatever to do just this fight. I should actually, hopefully, by the time I finish this, yeah, 4300 XP. I might even ding when I finish this quest, which would be pretty nice. Alright, please die. Oh crap, I've got no wrath. Slight oversight on my part. There we go, right. He's dead. Defeat the Twisted Heart and Heart Rot. So we should go downstairs. Hopefully he's lost his like uber regen buff. Uh, then we can kill him and go home. And roast some marshmallows on his burning corpse. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Longbow's pretty much already done the job for us, but we can uh, chip in for a kill still. There we go. Twisted Grove has been cleansed. Hum hum. Hum hum, indeed. There we go. No travel now, we'll be back with him at the Eve Spires. Hand that in. My legs are still broken. Stand now and rest a while. And um, we're gonna get some shiny, shiny earrings. Hmm. I think I might go for one of these ones. Why not? You should not be giving your right name away like so. So all is quiet on the western front, thank god. So we're going to get a quest now to go back to Orkaway at Tanudir. So let's go do that then. What do you need? Uh, Tanudir. And he's going to say, great, you've done the western side, now go south. And uh, start going into Animinus. What can I do for you? Could I speak so there we go, moment? level 39, brilliant. In fact, I don't think I spent my level 37 trait point either, so yeah, I've got two now. Can't complain. Um, we're going to come back to that notice in a moment, but uh, I think I will spend both of my points on increasing my melee damage. Because why not? So that's three points in that. Um, so yeah, talk to somebody at the Way of Kings camp. So just accept that. So the Way of Kings is basically the road into Eneminess. So where it says Menorain down here. Uh, and there is a ranger camp there which we can get to nice and easy because there is a boat keeper there. So we can take the boat from Tanudir down to these guys. Save us a bit of running. Um, however, there is... A new pop-up which has come on the screen which says you have reached level 39 and can now purchase legendary books from your class trainer to start working on legendary deeds. Now these have changed dramatically since the introduction of trait trees to the game. Um, before that each of these uh, would lead to a deed which you'd have to complete and then you got an epic legendary skill which you could slot as part of your traits um, which gave you like pretty awesome abilities. 
But since the, the trait trees came into existence, there's no such thing as a legendary trait anymore. Um, so you don't have legendary skills. A lot of those were just worked into the trait tree at the higher ranks. Um, so instead of what you're going to get out of these is extra class points, but getting extra class points early is pretty nice, so we can't complain. So we probably want to do that, but the problem is, as a Bjorning, there aren't many of my class trainers around. I think at the low levels the only one that we might be able to get to is actually at, um, at Grimbjorn's Lodge, which requires the racial skill to travel there. But uh, for everyone else, so... I mean, there's a couple of the trainers here, so Lawmaster, Guardian, Runekeeper, uh, I think the Hunter and Burglar are over at the camp at the back, Champion, Captain, uh, there's, there's plenty around. I think a couple more might be over towards the keep over here as well. But uh, if you go speak to any class train, it doesn't have to be these guys, it can be any of the trainers in any of the regions you're currently in. Uh, just go speak to those guys, browse their shop. And in their shop somewhere you should see um, free books which will require you to be level 39 to use. Um, they'll have various names. Uh, so I can't name any off the top of my head because I'm just drawing a blank. But uh, they'll be pretty obvious what they are. Um, they cost a reasonable amount of silver each. Just buy each of those books. Uh, just right click them in your inventories. That will consume them. It will create a deed in your deed log. Um, and it will basically say, go talk to someone somewhere in Middle-earth. So uh, once you've got all three of those books unlocked and they say, talk to that person, it'll be the same person for all three of them. Somebody vaguely uh, to do with your class. I think uh, burglars will get sent to Bilbo, hunters get sent to Legolas, I think, or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, go off to speak to those guys and that will unlock the deeds themselves where you have to go around Middle-earth collecting uh, book pages which is a pretty long and tricky task um, and it's best since they're, since they're random drops from humanoid mobs so things with two arms, two legs and a bit of brains um, things like goblins, orcs, trolls, all of those will drop book pages so it's pretty much a case of just play the game like you would normally and rejoice if you get any of those dropping your loot rather than go out and actively try and farm them because then you'll probably find that if you do that they'll never drop for you because that's uh, a random loot generator number goddess for you anyway so uh, while I was just rambling away we've come over to the the Hiking's Crossing which if you remember was back where the, uh, the first riddle quest was so we're going to collect that and learn that actually if we'd bothered checking underneath the, uh, the original stone the loot was there anyway, and uh, the massive trip around the place was just a massive troll. So we've got a, a mouldy book which we have to take back to Kulang at uh, Tunudir, so we're going to do that before we head off. Got some other bits of loot. Pretty ugly looking armour, I mean this is why I'm wearing the cosmetics, so they're, they're a bit better looking. I mean uh, Scarvig's arm is cosmetic, it's not great, but you know it's, it's probably realistic looking garb that he'd, he'd probably wear back over at his place. It's like a woodsman -y kind of look. Um, rather than decking him out in like shining armour, because like, proper armour seems unbjorning ish I mean, they're just manly. And then, let's be honest, you know, if he's wearing plate mail, it's probably not the best thing to be transforming into a bear from, because uh, he'll get a bit stuck. Um, at least if he's wearing fabric, he can kind of hulk out and uh, rip his clothes. So, where's Kulang? Kulang's down by the keep. As we can see down the bottom here, the invaders of, uh, of Animinus have reclaimed Claw here. So the, the enemy NPCs have just taken control of one of the capturable points in the city. Come here, Kulang! There we go. Is the shadow upon my heart. So we can hand that in, that finishes off the riddle chain, which as you see is called There and Back Again, a little homage to the uh, the Hobbit book. It's just a little bit of this stuff. So uh, next we get to go to the Way of Kings camp, so we're going to take the boat, but this time we're going to choose the third and what final option which is actually top of the list, which is Men of Rain. 
which is the area that's in. So if we travel there, it saves us swimming. So uh, we're now on an island just off the Way of Kings down here, the uh, southeast corner of Lake Evendon. And we're on a little island here where there's going to be loads of quests. Um, once I start talking to these guys, it's just going to cause quests to appear left, right and centre. It's, it's pretty crazy, this quest hub. You'll get a lot of quests done very, very fast without going too far. But um, I think we will stop here then. And uh, next episode, we will do The Way of Kings. So see you guys then. Thank you.